Oh, I'm a mess right now Inside out Searching for a sweet surrender But this is not the end I can't work it out How Going through the motions Going through us Though I've known it for the longest time And all of my hopes All of my words I roll over written on the signs When you're on my road Walking me home Home, 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 home See the flame inside my eyes It burns so bright I wanna feel your love No, easy baby, maybe I'm alive Before tonight I wanna fall in love Put your faith in my stomach up this time late last night drinking to suppress devotion with fingers intertwined i can't shake this feeling now good morning it's wednesday i'm and i are heading to campus to drop things off and run some errands and you'd and start we'll take you with us You paint, no, but all of my words were always built. They flower individual all spot. All the love you spoke pretty when you're on my road, walking me home, 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 home. See the flames inside my eyes. It burns so bright. I so I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Sarah. I'm 21 years old and I live in Canada as you can tell and I'm gonna try this vlogging thing I think I could be an interesting person but I'm not really sure so you guys get to be the judges that so Em and I were discussing uh, how much of a crappy job some people do of getting snow off their car exhibit a is right behind us I don't know if you can see it no you can't see it so you're at the back window yeah there you go you can see that out the back window, the two cars behind us. Yeah, it's off. So Em has to go to St. Pat's because she's in our history to drop off her textbook. And we're parked behind Granville right now. And fun fact, Granville was my residence in first year. Woo! Oh, also, I'm currently in third year. Well, not technically. So I realized in my last video, since I'm not used to vlogging, my eyes were just kind of going like that a lot. And it was kind of weird. So I'm going to try again. I'm going to try just looking at the camera and seeing if that works. So I was explaining my schooling situation. It is my third year attending Carleton. Though in my first year, my second semester, I had to get erased academically and financially. Uh, due to the fact that my health was so poor, I couldn't attend classes and therefore failed all my classes. So I had that erased, so it's like it never happened, it doesn't exist. Second year, I tried to take some first and second year classes and was again unsuccessful due to my health and limitations that I could physically attend class and mentally. And due to my mental health, I was unable to do work and complete my assignments, so I didn't do well either. It's now currently my third year attending Carleton, though I'm currently going to be taking a break, not taking some classes, and trying to get my health under control. So that's the complicated story of my schooling at the moment. Going through us. Though I've known it for the longest time. This guy knows how to do it in Canada. Winter bike, all the gear, slip fam. Welcome to OC Transpo Hell. I know, I'm like, I don't know, I don't want to get hit. It burns so bright, I want to feel you. So, fun fact about Carlton, it is right Always 
on the river. It's always under construction, but it is right on the river. Which river? Rito River. And on this side of Carlton, we have the canal. The Rideau Canal, which is actually the longest skating rink rank in the world. Skating rink. Skating rink. Skating rink. Vlogging. We're back. So it's kind of a typical day for me. I'm not feeling too great. It's just I'm not gonna lie down in bed for a little while. Mess around not that long. Probably gonna be here for like an hour or two. Just to my hand, I might get control. I already took a few medication, so I'm like okay. So I got all dressed up. I'm ready for my job interview. I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup and mess with my hair a little bit. Uh, I have a job interview today um, for a bridal boutique and prom store. Um, so I'm all spiffied up and I'm gonna finish getting ready. Minus 11 outside, and I am currently walking to the bus stop so I can catch the bus and go all the way downtown for my interview. I made it downtown, and I'm going to go to Reno Center to figure out where I'm going for my interview. Uh, last minute emergency for the owner. Um, so now I'm stuck downtown. I'm pretty bummed that the interview got cancelled. I bust all the way downtown and it takes me an hour to bust downtown. Uh, and now I just missed the bus to a home, so it's gonna take over an hour. I'm almost home now, so I'm gonna relax, chill out, uh, maybe take some pain medication, and lie down for a bit, get something to eat. Uh, yeah, it's just really frustrating when you're trying really hard and you're you have a goal for that day, and then you can't complete that goal. For example, my goal for today was to go to this interview and to do well. I need a job, and I thought this would be a good opportunity. So I got home a couple hours ago and I had to lie down, the pain was just getting to be too much. And I realized I haven't quite filled you guys in on what is going on with me. I've been diagnosed with a lot of different things, uh, including some mental health, some physical health, and it's a lot, and I deal with it every day, and it's just a part of me. 
home. So I've been diagnosed on the mental health side of the scale with anxiety, depression, and PTSD. I also have a lot of traits of BPD. If you know what that is, great. On the physical side of things, I have chronic back pain. I have problems with my SI joint, which is joint inside your hip. It gets locked in place and causes quite a lot of pain and makes my back compensate. And I also have IBS. Now the shocking thing about most of these diagnoses, I got them almost all within the past three years, so since I started university. A few of them I've had for a long time and they just went undiagnosed, but most of them are pretty recent and they all kind of make a circle and connect with each other. So the IBS gets worse when I'm anxious or stressed and the hip pain uh, causes the depression and it's just an infinite loop and everything connects to everything and it causes a whole lot of problems and makes everyday care I want to be as open as possible and I'm going to work on that. That's part of what I want this vlog to be. It's something I can use um, to have other people relate to. Maybe you've been in similar situations and you didn't know there was someone else out there dealing with this too. I just want to be there for you. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments down below. Um, let me know what you think. So it's just after seven. Um, bowl, my roommate Emily is gone to write her exam, and I'm just about to get ready for dance. So for those of you who didn't know and couldn't have guessed, I'm a Highland dancer. Highland dance is a traditional style of dance oh, from Scotland and has right been passed now. down through generation to generation and Inside I compete. Out. I am currently at premier Inside level. So I'm not a very good premier, but I'm still a premier. Uh, a typical week end. for me, I have dance Wednesday night I and Saturday mornings. And then sometimes I'll go on a Monday if I'm feeling like it. And every now and then, go maybe once a month, I have a competition. Emotions. Normally Emily drives me to class for dance because she's in the same class as I am, but since she's not going tonight, Megan will be picking me up and driving me, which is super sweet of her. Late last night, drinking to suppress devotion, fingers in to take. Something you're probably going to notice when I'm at the end of the night is I have a belt that I wear. It helps push my SI joint into place and have it sit properly so that it can rotate properly. Now, I wear this belt when I dance. It's recommended to be worn all the time, but I can't wear it all the time because I suffer from IBS. The pressure from the belt on my abdomen aggravates the IBS symptoms. Not only when I'm feeling down and not having a good day, but even like on a good day, when I'm at IBS, it isn't bothering me at all. If I wear the belt, it'll start to bug me. But I need to wear the belt to keep my SI joint in check. So it's a bit of a love-hate relationship. 
So currently I am training and practicing for a competition that happens in February. This year it's at the end of February and it's OHDA. It's a Highland competition with a premiership and then it also has a choreography competition where I'm entering in a solo, a trio, and potentially a duet as well. I'm gonna vlog, don't mind me guys. Just I love you. <laughs> So it's about 11 o'clock at night and we are heading home from the pub, I guess? Or was it a bar? It's a pub. It's a pub. We went to the pub and had holiday drinks after class today to celebrate. And now we're on the way home. My lovely Megan is driving and we got a party in the back seat. Are you here? <laughs> are you here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! I love these girls. So I thought I'd do a quick introduction. This is my hamster. Her name is Hershey. She's hiding up there. 